It's going to be kind of that nuisance rain when you're out uh, traveling at any part of the day, and we're already seeing kind of the initial bands of that rain right now. Lafayette up to Kokomo. Let's give you a quick radar tour. We'll bounce around over toward Greencastle. You're now in the rain. Brazil, Rockville, head out west, out around Terre Haute. You've been in the rain for a little while now. Lebanon, it's knocking on the door in northwestern Boone County, Frankfurt, up toward Monticello. Let's head north. Uh, Peru, Rochester, Plymouth. Winnemac, Monticello, all dealing with that rain as this continues to slide to the east. Morning drive, I think, is going to be wet, so just be prepared for that. It's not going to be heavy rain, but could slow things down. We'll go scattered showers numbers into the mid-50s. For now, we are dry in the city, but it is cloudy. We're warmer than yesterday, 55 currently, and most of the state into the mid-50s. Numbers are going to struggle today because of the cloud cover, because of the rain. 62, it's going to get a little breezy at times as well with winds out of the south and west of 14. Let's time it out. As we go hour by hour, future cast, uh, a mid-morning, I think, is going to be quite soggy. All right? It may take a few more hours for this rain to arrive in the metro, probably closer to around 7, 8, 9 o'clock. But again, relatively light. Now, as we get into the afternoon, this starts to break up a little bit. So it's not going to rain all day. We're going to have our breaks. It's going to stay cloudy. We're pretty sure of that. Scattered downpours could be possible at any time during the afternoon. And I think that theme will continue this evening into the overnight hours. Scattered showers, not going to rain for everybody or every hour. And then we're going to have a little wave kind of pushing through early in the morning tomorrow, which will spark, again, some scattered showers across our area. But here's the good news. I don't think Friday is going to be a really wet day. The morning could be, but I think as we end the afternoon, we're just left with mostly cloudy skies. Now, Saturday morning, I know I've mentioned throughout the week that we could have some chances. I think best opportunities are going to be early Saturday morning and mainly in northern Indiana. So really, the vast majority of the state, I think, is going to be dry for the weekend. Uh, not too bad tonight. Temperature-wise, we're down to a low of 51. Cooler tomorrow, 52 at 9 a.m., 55 at noon, and then 61. I do think we're dry in the afternoon. I do think we are dry for playoff football tomorrow evening. Kind of seasonable. It's not going to be too bad. We'll go partly cloudy, 57 at kickoff in mid-50s to end the game. I do think it's going to be a breezy day on Saturday, even though we're going to be maybe uh, a degree or two warmer, and I'm going to go partly cloudy. Again, those AM showers north, 63. It is going to be cooler on Sunday, but I think it's going to be bright and it's going to be calm. We'll finish with a high of around 58 to wrap up the weekend. Something I want you to be aware of, because there are signs that we're going to be uh, a little bit cooler than we initially thought on Sunday. Clear sky, quiet. This number right here, Monday morning. I think that could be cold enough for widespread frost, all right? So if you got some plants outside, just be aware of that. That would be Monday morning, so Sunday night into Monday morning. 60 on Monday. Here's some good news. A nice warming trend then arriving Tuesday. We're flirting with 70 degrees, mid-60s on Wednesday, and we'll hold into the mid-60s for Thursday of next week.